Do the follow up, either Strawwell or Nadler has to die before the election. They need to get the message. I'm Diana Falzone, senior media reporter for Mediate.com. Now, earlier this week, I published a piece for Mediate about longtime Trump ally Roger Stone talking about assassinating two members of Congress. Roger Stone spoke with Cop Pal about assassinating Eric Swalwell and Jerry Nadler. In the story, I reported that Stone was caught on tape discussing the prospect of assassinating the two House Democrats with an associate named Sal Greco a now former NYPD cop who worked for Stone on the side. Now, since the story was published, Stone has vehemently challenged our reporting. Writing in a post on social media, quote, I never spoke about assassinating anyone. Fake media I can't produce the recording they claim to have. Well, we do indeed have the recording, and we're going to play it for you now. Before we do, a quick note that this audio has been lightly edited to protect the identity of our source. But here is Roger Stone speaking to his associate Sal Greco at Cafe Europa in Fort Lauderdale weeks before the 2020 election. Get your piece there, and go find Swalwell and get this over with. It's time to do it now. Then we'll see how brave the rest of them are. Either follow up, either Swalwell or Nadler has to die before the election. They need to get the message. Yeah, just not putting up with this again. Our source told us that this was not a one-off conversation, nor was it in jest. Our source told us Stone was talking about taking specific actions on these plans. Quote, Roger spent election day and the months prior calling for acts of violence. It was definitely concerning that he was constantly planning violence with an NYPD officer and other militia groups. In addition to his social media post, Stone denied ever making these comments in a statement to Mediate prior to our publishing the story. He told us, quote, total nonsense. I've never said anything of the kind, more AI manipulation. You ask me to respond to audios that you don't let me hear and you don't identify a source for, absurd. However, his associate Sal Greco did not deny the comments, telling us, quote, I don't think your reader is interested in ancient political fodder. It's worth noting that this isn't the first time Stone has made the claim that his comments were deep fakes. He made the same claim about his remarks in the documentary, A Storm Foretold, in which he was caught on tape talking about violence. I should f the Lord and let's get right to the violence. Also worth pointing out here that Stone has a history with Congressman Swalwell and Nadler, both of whom served on the House Judiciary Committee. Stone was convicted of federal crimes in special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. His sentence was commuted by then President Donald Trump just days before he was set to report to prison. Nadler subsequently announced the Judiciary Committee would look into why Stone's sentence was commuted. So certainly Nadler and Swalwell were on Roger Stone's radar. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more coverage of this story and the latest in media and politics. For Mediate.com, I'm Diana Felzone.